SAS Australia is sir, back yes, sir. with a whole new crop of recruits. Um, time to catch up with, well, the main shouty British yeah. guy, Ant Middleton. Hi, Ant. Hey, guys. How are you doing? Yeah, oh. we're wonderful. Looking forward to the next series of... Uh, of you yelling at of famous SAS people? Australia. <laughs> yeah, you're going berserk. Um, we've been loving the promos. One thing I want to ask you about the promos, you know who, who was the, the lady who passed out and you picked her up like she was dead? Um, that was Melissa Wu. She is an Olympic diver. Yes. And she was dead. No, I'm joking. She wasn't dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I really hit a bad spot then. Next question. <laughs> Which is great for the next challenge where they had to dig graves. <laughs> <laughs> so there was, a, there was a reason for it. <laughs> Melissa Wu. Oh, she was so I mean, great for Australia over many, many I'd Olympics. I'd stick a grave on my own career after that. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, Anne, on that, many years, many years we used to have uh, um, SAS instructors take us um, when I was playing um, a sport over here, professional sport. They used to take us for sessions, and we had to do sessions on the beach where we dug our own graves, and then you had to jump in them and get covered and swim out, you know, 100 And then you made a sandcastle what? It was all full-on stuff. <laughs> that was one thing. Yeah, the, 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 uh, the chief instructor, Ant Middleton, um, takes you on the beach every so be careful what you wish for, guys. Be yeah. careful what you wish yeah, for. Yeah. Oh, I don't well, you know that. what? I never wanted like, Sean, place. Sean is not hardcore. So that was <laughs> AFL football. When if my volleyball team, we used to have to plan our own cremations. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> I mean, you know what, Sean? You're, you're digging a hole's yeah. a real scary yeah, exactly. story. Um, and uh, I really do enjoy the way that you don't know nor care about who these people are mm. and just tear them a new one. Uh, do you know straight away from your initial meeting of celebrities the ones that are going to give you the most trouble or is that something that unveils itself as time goes on? Yeah, normally the ones that are undisciplined, I can tell straight away by the way they um, you know, they handle themselves, the way they, they look at the ground, the way they're undisciplined. It's the undisciplined ones straight away that I know that they're going to have a problem with authority, and they're the ones that I get straight up in their face. I test them straight away. Yes. <laughs> um, and if they're wasting our time, I just get rid of them. You know, we're not there to mess around. I just like, like get off my course. I'm not going to waste my time on you. Um, you know, I've got to put so many recruits through this course. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't mess around in that way because, listen, my time and experience is worth a lot, you know, guys. So um, I know, you know yeah, 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 yeah. We only save it for the best. Yeah, you know what? We saw some people actually over the last couple of seasons just lift to a new level. We'll go yes. back last year to just Yana Pittman. Yeah, she was amazing. She was amazing in how she, uh, all the stuff she does, being in a fact, doctor, yeah. Olympian. We're a bit filthy a let it go when yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. Not forgetting as well, she had a baby six months before. If she yeah. never had, had a baby six months before, I would have put up her uh, up there. You know, I wouldn't, be, wouldn't, wouldn't have been surprised if she would have passed with Sam. We, we had a discussion about this. Yes. Why was Sam the only one? Because Mark Philippus has got to the end. Mm. Yana was fantastic. Was there one more? John oh, Stephenson yes, yes, as well. Yeah. So, so what was the difference? Cause we that ruled Sam see, in and then yeah. out. I wanted to pass all three of them. You know, I looked at them and I thought, mm, you know, I could pass all three and, you know, it would have looked good for the, for, the, for the program. But Sam was just that level above. And when I look at the process, I was like, I'd, like, I'd rather have one, you know, elite than half them all and you know just it just didn't feel right okay. um so and that's why we do the course with them that's why we live and breathe that course yeah. with them you know through emotional intelligence physical psychological robustness and resilience it's like sam just edged it it was just that level up um philippusis and stephenson were on the same level but sam just was just that level up so it wouldn't, wouldn't have been fair to to a pass all of them so yeah, that's right. Why mm. right okay yeah. okay so i want to go to the compound right and go mm. to the toilet it's consistent consistent yeah, yeah. So I want to go to the compound and go to the toilet blocks because I think there would be nothing worse than being able to look at someone's face while you're doing a poo because um, they are the worst toilets ever. <laughs> are you sure you want to go in there? Oh, <laughs> that, that, to me, would, that to me would be traumatic. And it's, you know, just the shame of it all. Is the toilet paper as rough as what I'm guessing it would be? Now, normally there isn't, there's no um, partition. You know, when we first started doing this, they were just like, seats on and you could literally just sit next to each other and no. pass each other this toilet roll and but now it's a bit weird it's a bit, it's a bit weird you've got these little cut you've got these little peepholes oh, yeah. like, <laughs> so I look you in the eye but and that's good <laughs> what is that about? I, imagine. I get quite turned on by it now because <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's what it's like in the field right in the field it would just be four seats right by one another yeah yeah exactly you, you got well in uh, in the field we um, when we're in 
observation post. You could be in an observation post in a hole for two weeks where you literally have to and piss, you know, in, in a in a bag and put it back in your backpack and oh. you know, you make the whole, whole bag while you shoot into it because you can't move. No, so join, join oh the God. army, oh everybody. You know, when, you know when you haven't cleaned out your kid's school bag for a while and there's something terrible in the lunchbox? <laughs> it's, it's worse than that. Well, I could put all my in my mate's uh, bargain, so he could deal with it when he got back. Yeah. Oh, and <laughs> oh, That is so good. Oh, oh, that should be on the recruiting Sorry. video. Oh. <laughs> you should make them do that. <laughs> <laughs> when anyone's doing the course and uh, and doing you know lots of different activities in front of you, do you feel like jumping in sometimes and mm. getting involved, like physically and doing some of them? Yeah, I am actually in the zone. Um, when they do it, that's why I run along them. That's why I demonstrate a lot of it because um, I'm in that zone with them. That's yep. why I can get that raw emotion. I can push those buttons. I can really you know um, look in their eyes and know exactly where they're at. Either rein them in because they're going to push themselves too far, or, or really really push them because I know that they're slacking a little bit. And that's why sometimes I'm grabbing them by the ears and I'm grabbing them by the scruff of the neck, you know, just to get them through or just to make them realise that this isn't a joke. I've been in these situations before. You know what? I'm just so thankful that because we can interview you, we get the nice ant. That's right. I'm just (laughs) so thankful about that situation. (laughs) It's fantastic. Um, And I'm so um, puzzled as to why so many celebrities each year after seeing this show... Put their hands up and are dying to be on it. It just—it's it's it unbelievable makes no sense to me. To me. <laughs> unbelievable! You got such a great show, Ant. Thank you so much. You'll be surprised how many celebrities reach out. Um, yeah. and actually want to do the show. But listen, the more celebrities, um, the more shows we're going to have. So listen, keep them coming. <laughs> well, there's big lines. Love so, your yeah, work, Ant. Can't Ant. wait to watch it. Thanks, mate. Thank you so much, guys. Nathan, Nat, and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au.